So I will be using the Naked Palette 2 mm -hmm, by Urban Decay. Um, it's a really nice palette. Probably one of my favorites with the Naked Palette 3. But anyways, I already had put primer on my eye. So with Sorry. the more fluffier, more dense brush, we will be taking the Snake Bite. And this will be in our inner, outer, sorry, outer crease. Hope you guys can see that, that one. And we'll be taking that, sorry. We will be taking that in our outer crease. So with the more fluffier side. Or any brush with the fluffier side, more fluffy or more dense brush you can use. It doesn't have to be this one, but with the more fluffy side, we will be taking the snake bite color. And we will be putting it in our outer corner in swifting motions. Oh, now, if you don't have these colors, it's you do want to do this look you can use very you can use similar colors to this okay okay so now I do have another brush and this is I use this brush for everything blending um, packing on the makeup in this, in the inner lid, and in the outer lid, outer lid, pff, outer corner, inner corner, all that stuff. I use this brush and it works fine. And it's called the Dome Eyeshadow Brush. This is how it looks. I hope you guys can see it. Okay. And so with this one, I will be taking the color Tease. This one right here, and I will be putting that in my inner crease. Don't need that much. Um, and this is like kind of like a you can use this for the nighttime, daytime. I use like really like dark colors in the daytime because it's winter oh, I'm sorry it's all about like dark lipstick fall colors you know orange brown tan gray like all that stuff so okay anyways it can be so with the small skinnier dense brush sorry we will be putting the color half baked in our inner lid let me show you how the half-baked color looks. Let me just... Okay. Sorry. Now with... Going back to this fluffier dense brush, we will be taking the color Pistol and putting it in our outer V. This one right here. It's really gray color sorry guys i just have to keep checking that it's like not out of focus so you guys can see this so what i hope this you color. can see this too and putting that in our outer v And so I don't even know why I'm doing that one. Then you just blend. Okay. And that's the eye look. Oh, not yet. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so then I will be taking this color called Booty Call and this color called. Foxy, and we'll be using Sorry, the color. So we will be using color the co booty call with the smaller brush. <laughs> and 
and the inner corner and just make sure you blend that so then with the foxy color I will be using this brush this brush for the color foxy for sorry I didn't put it on this eyebrow so and just do the same to the other eyebrow basically we're highlighting the inner corner and our eyebrow eyebrow bone to give it that more lift okay so <clears throat> back to the more fluffy brush we will be taking the snake bite color again don't be afraid to smoke out the butt bottom eye so take it again And just get the bottom eye. No, you're gonna look like a freaking raccoon. But I promise you, it does justice. Okay, so now this is a question that I get a lot. Sorry, I'm moving on the face. This is a question that I get okay. a lot, and it is, is how I do my eyeliner. Now I'm going to show you a little bit, and then if you guys want to see different ways on how you can do your eyeliner, leave a comment below. Doing this be super simple eyeliner not too dramatic and not too plain so that's how I do it I'm gonna try to like show you guys I get my liner and the way I do it is some people start off just going straight at it then at the very end adding the wing and connecting it and you can do that too but what I do is I start off at the corn sorry Sorry guys, my cat. But I start off at the corner of my eye and work my way up. So, oh, I hope you guys can see this. And I fix it. And then from there, after I have that line, the small little line. So after you draw okay. the line, you're going to kind of look weird. You don't want to leave it like that. So... Do not, do not start your eyeliner from the point because you're going to get a really like fat point. So what I usually do is I probably go a little bit down from where the point is and I go and I mark it. And then I start filling in the wing and I fix it some more. And that's how I do the wing, my wing eyeliner. Alright, I'm going to do the other eye and I will be back for the rest of my face. And then we'll be done with the look. So I did my eyeliner. Now all I have to do is my mascara. Um, and then I'll do my face and I'll show you guys how I do that. And it's really simple. Probably the most basic thing you've ever seen. This is by so, Elf. If you guys know what Elf is. 
it is a really it is the most cheapest like i got this for a dollar when at sephora i can get this for ten dollars and this for a dollar for it being a dollar it works so great but elf products are great they're like freaking fantastic and um let's see oh like my contour blush and my bronzing powder freaking fantastic it this was only two dollars i think two dollars or a dollar and it works great elf products it might be cheap but it works fantastic i promise you like i'm not gonna give you something that doesn't like not give you something but suggest something that doesn't even work but anyways um so i am obviously girls you know what this is so I'm gonna curl my lashes. And I don't wear falsies. I've been wanting to, but I do have lashes and they're do I, I wish they don't mine just goes straight down. So curl it. Oh and I also don't do my eyebrow sometimes eyebrows. Sometimes I do them, but I don't do them all the time. Because I really have bush eyebrows. Maybe in the future, I will start coloring them more. But for right now, I don't do them. Oh, sorry guys. This, I've been using this um, mascara since I was like 7th grade, 8th grade, 8th grade year. So that was in middle school. And I think it works perfectly fine. You can get this at, what can you get? Oh, you can get this at Walmart, Walgreens, any Anyways. drug stores. Um, give me a second. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So my trick when I comb, comb, put mascara on my lashes, I start from the very bottom and work my way up Don't like that. You know how Miley Cyrus has like really wispy like looking eyelashes? Her, the trick is like if you like those type of eyelashes, you wiggle your way up the... I don't know why I cannot talk today. But as you're putting, as you're coating your eyelashes, you start from the bottom and you okay. make your way up. So I do not wear foundation because I have not found the, I have not yet found the foundation that will not break out my skin because I have really sensitive skin. But I've been using this nitrogen. Where are you at? Okay. This nitrogen skin clearing minimal mineral powder and it's ac acne prone and it kind of looks like that and it comes with a two-sided sponge this sponge this side of the sponge uses for more coverage and this side is when you only want it a little bit and it comes with the mirror and there you guys are I might take that out though okay anyways so basically this is this is a foundation and this used to be my mom's but she gave it to me because she found a foundation that fits perfectly for her and i don't use it to like use it all over my face i do use it to cover as you can see it's like little but i do use it to cover up like the really bad like blemishes so like for instance i just grab one oh, to cover up my dark circles and I should use concealer but like I said skin sensitive and I break out really easily but anyway so so I just pat that on a little bit sorry I had a little bit too much on that side and I added to like the areas I know when did the most I my nose and with this is the most cutest thing ever I call it a beauty blender 
because it is it looks it looks exactly like that one sorry I had to wet it but here it is this is my beauty blender and it comes with different like not different things but it it's flatter than your or like your normal beauty blender that has the same two points inside but it comes flatter so this is like the little thing you came in with pretty cute it's a three in I one like it. it says the flat edge contours around the around your eyes and nose the sides blend areas of the face the large areas and tip covers imperfections it gets the job done I love it okay so now we go on to the powder and I use the more anyways I use the more rougher side than the smoother side as you can see so I just throw it on so basically this is like a little ooh, you guys are kind of crooked this is like a little like tutorial on how I not like a toy but showing you guys how I do my um my face my makeup for my face my foundation not my foundation but my powder and how I put on stuff like that so anyways right now we're gonna contour 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 and this is when my elf oh my elf product comes in handy and it's so great I love it to death and get a fluffy brush okay any fluffy brush doesn't matter but I love NYX NYX products are great so this all looks um, one side is the <sighs> the contoured side contour and then the other side is the highlight So what I do is as how I contour my face or my cheek, my cheeks to get that more flat, not flat, straight, more skinny look, I start off by feeling where my cheekbone ends, like where my cheekbone is, and my cheekbone ends like, it's like that. So. I go like that and I kind of like drag a little bit down until then I go on the other side and then I do contour my chin and below here to give me that more skinny jaw look it's funny right how girls contour everything it's weird too and I do contour my forehead but I wait Okay, now with my brush, I'm gonna. <sighs> my mirror is dirty. Oh well. I'm gonna use this brown color. It's already going away, sadly. This brown color, and I will be using this rosy pink sparkly color. That was a car. So, I get some. Basically, you don't have, you can skip this part and watch the end, I don't know. But, the way, you don't have to, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're not going to do my face routine the way I do it. But, this is just like a little inside, a little look on how I do my face. 
full makeup routine. And sometimes I do go overboard, so I get my powder again. And I just clean it up so it won't look so harsh on my face. Okay, now when I contour my forehead, I have a pretty big forehead. Like, I have a forehead. So, what I do is I don't... What's in a country? <laughs> I did not use this on my forehead. I used to, but I don't. I just use powder and that's it. I do use highlight, but not all the time because I just ran out of translucent powder, so I don't have any more of that. And when I get some, there will be a whole tutorial on how to contour it and stuff. So, yeah. So I get some. And what I do is I, I start at my temples. And I move in a circular motion up my hair so it won't look like just some like blob so I work on that to the other side Sorry. I do the middle and then usually I will contour like right here to give her that highlight but like I said no more translucent powder okay oh sorry I totally forgot so anyways I'm gonna be using this one the blush on my face, the apples of my cheeks. I'm trying to hurry up because my camera is dying. So my camera might cut you guys off. Okay. So next is my Victoria's Secret Pro Illuminator Radiant Tallux and it's basically a highlight and this stuff is a lot so usually there's some on the tip and I just grab what's on it and I just I have like a little drugstore sponge and I just And I do the same to the other side. Okay. Guys, that was my eye makeup tutorial with, I guess, like a small tutorial, or I guess a tutorial of how I do my face makeup. But I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys tried it out sometime. If you guys do, comment below and tell me tell how you like it. Just hope you guys use um, this. I hope you guys really like it. Um, if you guys think this makeup look is a little bit too dramatic or a little bit too harsh, then you guys can always use it when you go out to something big, like a party, um, if you go clubbing with your friends, I don't know. Something, you know. But if you think this is a really nice look to use in the daytime, it's winter, dark colors, it's great. You can match it up with any lipstick or with any outfit. It's not too colorful. It's very neutral based. Um, I will leave everything that I used. I will put everything that I used down in the description below. And I hope you guys liked it, like I said, for like the 400th time. So give me a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, comment below what you guys want to see next. And I'll try to make it happen. Um... Yeah, follow me on all social medias. I'll be also down below in the description box. So I'll see you later. Bye.